In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create some cool pop art in Photoshop. First of all, you are going to need to have Photoshop open with the image that you want to use loaded. You are going to need to select just the subject of the image. You can use your preferred selection tool to do this. Here, we are going to use the magnetic lasso tool. Once you have made the selection, right-click on it and click Layer via Copy. In the Layers panel, click the Backgrounds layer, then click the Create a new fill or adjustment layer icon below this. In the menu that appears, click Solid Color, and in the dialog box that appears, select a color for your background and click OK. Now click on the layer that contains the subject, in this example, Layer 1, and click Image in the main menu. Navigate to Adjustments and click threshold. Use the graph slider that appears to change the image so that only some of the detail remains. Just go for a similar level to what you can see here. Now we are going to focus on coloring some parts of the image. Let's start with the hair by selecting the lasso tool from the menu on the left and drawing around it. Right click on it and click layer via copy. You can see that a new layer appears in the panel on the right. Hold down Alt on the keyboard, then click and hold on the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon and continue holding the mouse click and then release it over solid color. Check the Use Previous Layer to create Clipping Mask box and click OK. Select a color for the hair in the next box and click OK. Now in the Layers window, click in the drop-down box that reads Normal and select Multiply. The detail from the threshold layer will come through. Essentially, you are now going to need to color other items from the image in the same way to give it a pop art effect. We are now going to speed up the video to show you this now, and that is how to create pop art in Photoshop.